Hi, welcome back to the final and fourth part of our little mini series on peatlands. We've been through a lot. We've actually talked a lot about science and how things form in bogs, how they go from lakes to fens to acid bogs. We've looked at the flora and fauna that live on bogs and the particular special environment that's created with that acidic non-oxygen environment and what lives there and what loves to live there, particularly that sphagnum moss that is so unique and also so wonderful and so useful in lots of different ways. We've seen how things have come from an ice age to form fens, to form flatlands, to then go all the way back around to come back again to conservation and preservation of the bogs that we have in Ireland because we've started to understand the science that happens in, in, the, in bogs and peatlands but also why they're so dear to us and how important to our future because if we understand the science and we understand why things are important then we can start to look to look after them and we need to do that in a sustainable way with the three pillars of sustainability that we mentioned earlier on in the first episode how we look after people in, in an equitable way how we look after the global economy in a sustainable way and how we look after the environment in a sustainable way and that's what i'm going to chat with nula about now so Nula, we've come to the end of our four part little mini series on peatlands this is our last episode and we've left the most challenging bit for last. How do we marry sustainability for people, for environment and for the economy all in one? It's not necessarily an easy thing in any context. No, it is a very challenging question, especially when it comes to peatlands. You know, hundreds of years ago, we tried to exploit our peatlands and then we managed to, in a way, through the 20th century. But uh, peatlands are one of these habitats that um, are you know, evolving and our knowledge of them is evolving and that, that knowledge is coming from a scientific research into them. If you go to the 1970s uh, here at the Bog of Allen Nature Centre, it's where they traditionally started to look at our peatlands and what could we do with them um, into the future and I suppose the answers at that time was they're still a very nutrient poor landscape, they're a very wet landscape. So typical agriculture like growing crops that we would in any other landscape they don't really work on peatlands so we do have to explore well what is the future for peatlands and i think unfortunately i don't have an answer for mm -hmm. you today on That's that all right. but i mean like and that is the thing about like is that research and what we've learned from them and what we've learned about them as well as well the thing about it worries me is that if we continue to exploit them and not look after them that we won't learn things that potentially could have amazing discoveries to help make the world a better place i don't know even if like learning how to grow peatlands or on mars like is there something like hospi like hostile environments or plants or something and different sphagnum moss that'll be able to heal us or anything else and potentially there's new economies or businesses that can come from learning more uh, learning more about peatlands but we have to look after them we do i mean it's 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 hard to to believe but today about one percent of irish peatland habitats are actively forming and that's of an area of 1.3 million hectares so it's a tiny portion of what we have left and i hope during the series we've explored how peatlands are you know home to unique and diverse biodiversity and it'd be really sad to see if we continued on our journey of exploitation that these would be lost but I think times are changing in Ireland and through the research that has been done and the campaigning work it means that peatlands are a sample of peatlands are getting protected and we need now to give them back the, their blood the, their water so that they can now continue to be carbon stores and water stores for us and bring all of their ecosystem services together for us yeah and I think that's one of the things is like when we look at climate change and climate action or things like generally you know the solutions are there already and we've identified the problems as well it's acting on them and to do that sustainably is what we want to do in a way that brings everybody in thing in terms of an accessible point of view as well that it's not just for one part of society it's for everyone and i i think by you know preserving peatlands as well you know there can't be businesses if we don't have the land to be able to work on as well and reusing them and potentially using them as renewable sources but also you know or spaces for renewable energy as well so going forward but for everything for me as a scientist once it's rooted in science and the research is there and what started here in the 70s as well then we should have a clearer picture of what's going forward i think yeah and i think as well th there's business opportunities here in our peatlands if we look for many years we focused on the peat as a as a growing medium in our garden and we know that can't continue. Bogs are non-renewable, so eventually we won't have that piece to garden with. So we need to really look at, you know, science and research into 
new growing mediums and and there is that potential there to to grow and expand on our business areas and as you mentioned there energy we traditionally burnt peat to make an to make energy for our you know our lights in our homes or even heating our homes so there is opportunities there but the opportunities that we take today in our peatlands it can't be uh, for the sake of other peatlands that we have remaining we have to protect what we have remaining in Ireland and take us an area of peatlands that is cut and actually rehabilitate that create the, the wetland environment again because that's where you're going to get the benefits for water for carbon and for biodiversity and for research learning more about it and potentially this these videos as Nula and I have been doing have been the jumping up point potentially for you to go and find out more come to the IPCC meet Nula go to other places go to any other place in the Bog of Ireland or even other countries they're all over the world it's about this should be like a, a, a little model. If you learn and understand something, you can see the benefits of it. And the benefits of peatlands are endless. For Pete's sake, I've been trying to get that in for four series episodes. There we go, statement done. So there you have it. And thank you for joining us on our little mini series all about bogs and peatlands. We've had a look at how people interact with boglands, how Boglands interact with people, how we looked after the flora, the fauna, and how we try to wrap everything up in a sustainable kind of approach in terms of our environment, in terms of our people, and in terms of our economy. We need to understand the science behind all of what we do, and we need to look forward to the future about how we can look after such an amazing resource in terms of science, chemistry, but also in terms of the the output of that, the carbon sinks, and the future for us that lies beyond all of this we need to think of what's coming next we can't ruin the planet so that there's nothing left for future generations to live on in the same way that we've had it and that's what equity is about it's about leaving things in a way that you'd like to find them you never go into a kitchen and like make a mess and expect the next person to come in and just go oh that's grand you want to look after it and that's what we need to do with our bogs our peatlands and our world maybe this is the time this is the jumping off point for you to do something take what you've found here even if it was just a snippet a small bit get this moment of inspiration and go wild go out into nature see what's beautiful what's amazing you'll never know where you'll go from and you'll never know what you'll save thanks for joining us and we'll see you next time bye